Here, here, just a First, I would like to congratulate Selenex coming back or re-entering in the beauty and wellness industry, which is much more wider, much more growing industry. And when they had party, they had again. You have to take it. Uh, I would like to congratulate to Selenex for the re-entering in the beauty and wellness industry which is much more wider and growing and happening industry compared to the when they had participated or they had organized the first exhibition in the beauty industry in 1996. So industry players, means Salunex, they already are experienced and they are already experienced and they are already in this industry from many years that is the reason i would like to participate with them i would like to support them because they have the quite wide experience and they are well connected with the industry and i am sure in the april where they are organizing the 19th and 17th and 19th 17th and 19th of 17th and 19th april they will be bringing the all industry players together and nice and pleasant ideas they have that is about the competitions, about the classrooms and about the new bringing the technologies in the industry. So I am sure they will be doing much more wider way and much more faster and strong way what they have done or what they have did in the 1996. So I am congratulating them. And I'm full place, I'm supporting them. And I want to be with them to bring something new for the industry. How you are going to be contribute to the show? I'm just trying my best to give them the idea what is happening in the industry today and uh, how exhibitions are uh, conducted and, and what is going on in the exhibition and how industry is expecting from the, what industry is expecting from the exhibition. Uh, mostly we'll see the all these saloon owners or spa owners they really want to see something new technology or something uh, uh, new coming from the abroad any brands are bringing new technology or new theme to the uh, Indian market and that's how I am helping them what is happening internationally and what is happening in the Indian market so that's why I'm here. I think uh, understanding I mean I've been in the industry for 17 years now and uh, even when I started uh, there wasn't so much available for us and what has changed in so many years is education and uh, that's the only thing which will also change the future. Uh, rightly mentioned uh, earlier this was a very uh, traditional uh, you know where hairdressers came in from families where they were barbers and that's how generation hairdressers came in. Today it's a choice a youngster makes to choose that as a career because the face of beauty and hair has completely changed. Uh, you know, it is the most upcoming thing and uh, it's, it's related to fashion which is directly related to your, um, you know, you could call your Bollywood, your Hollywood and you know, it's, it's a very, very high fashion kind of uh, industry and which is why it's, it's great that platforms like Salon X are here to empower, uh, you know, people who want to be a part of this industry and educate existing hairdressers from smaller towns 
that do not get the opportunity to come and learn. So yeah, thanks to Salon X and uh, you know, we we'll continue to do this great uh, work. Thanks. Is there any other question? Um, so I have been associated with Salon X for over a year now and um, I have been associated with education more importantly for over eight and a half years now. I've been educating hairdressers and I've already educated over 10,000 hairdressers all across the country in Southeast Asia. Also, um, you know, why my association with Salon X is because uh, they believe in education and the only way that we can change the industry or we can bring about a greater change or evolvement in this industry will be through education. And uh, because my core belief is education and Salon X believes in it so, uh, that's how the association and uh, I think they're doing a great job and uh, we will continue to uh, do this great job together. How see the new industry is increasing because more and more youth using now fairness screens every day using these services. How do you see the industry growing point, point of view next five years? See, industry is growing at a very rapid speed, not just from now but from the last five years. It has been a huge change with the kind of products that have come in, with the kind of companies that have come in, with the kind of technology that has come in. It's only growing and it's going to grow greater stages from now on. Do you think that we have a less awareness regarding the products from the trade saloons? Awareness, um, consumer awareness. We don't. In fact, I believe that in today's day and age, there is a lot of awareness. The way that the products have been launched and the way companies are launching their products, they have created great awareness. There is great education that is coming with it. So we have to give the credit to these companies that are coming in and also educating every individual, be it a beautician, be it a hairstylist, or be it a cosmetologist. They are all getting educated. So I think that it's, it's great and they're only moving way forward. How do you see the next, next five years? Salon X, with the way it's going in the next five years, is going to be one of the biggest uh, event shows uh, for beauty and hair industry and spa industry, of course. So they are going to be the biggest in terms of education and training, which is the next big thing. Thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, what are the reasons behind the revamping after 18 years? I think the beauty industry in India has also so grown. Sorry, Government has opened up the businesses. And a lot of brands today are looking at India. There is a great potential that India has. India is a population of 1.2 billion. That's 1.2 billion heads, 1.2 billion faces. And that's a big, big business that can happen. After America, I think we are probably the biggest beauty, potential of the biggest beauty business. I think the consciousness, today every young, middle-aged, old person is conscious of looking good, of looking nice, of being well-groomed, that I think has been a big, big change. No longer people want to use that dhai, malai formula that they used to use at home. Today people are wanting to go to a salon for a facial, wanting to go to a salon for a hairdo, for a for a party, they want to go for a makeup event. So there is a huge change in consciousness. I entered the industry in 2005. Uh, yeah, I, will, I actually came into the industry in 2005. which is a global figure for uh, you know for uh, grooming in the western world India spends 60 cents per person so you know the scope it's huge and humongous and people are now 
some of the products they use at home but a lot of it they wish to go to salons because salons give them me time it gives them time for themselves it's not that you can't do a facial or a, a manicure pedicure in this at home but you would prefer to do it at the salon because that's an environment you would like to go to but even that is challenged with the coming of home services and uh, such other things with kits which are you know at home kits so a lot of activity in the industry and that's very important that our salon professionals trends which are happening world has become very small thanks to internet and uh, everybody knows what's happening in the west we know what kate winslet is wearing we know what uh, you know any other singer or any uh, beyonce and this is there's this fairness angle everybody wants to be fair in india so a lot of work that the salons are doing but they need to be educated because making you fair by using a wrong chemical is again dangerous so it is very important that salons get this education and hence i find salonex to be a great platform where these things will be discussed and surely we should be able to get some huge benefit. i like to be associated with it because i love the education part of it do you think